Hello, lovers of freedom. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night to some of you, depending on your time zone and geographical location. My name is Amazon Indo Victor. I'm welcoming you to today's Sunrise Daily News Analysis. And I'm not alone in the studio. I'm in the studio with uh, Derek Oriako. Good morning and welcome to the show. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, in case you are just joining us, this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis. We are bringing you this very program from Biafran land. And uh, of course, you know we are talking about uh, election boycott and the Biafran referendum, which has been the main hot topic that is in vogue. But before we go into that, I would like you to share the program in all our social media platforms. We are on Periscope, we are on YouTube, we are on WhatsApp, we are on Facebook, we are on Twitter. And uh, you can also log on to our website www.gafatv.co and also other channels where you can reach us from. And we are also uh, transmitting concurrently on Radio Biafra London. And uh, I will encourage you to keep on keeping on. As we are moving forward, we are getting to the Biafran Promised Land. School card, and I will lead us there in the name of Yeshua. So, all right, how's it about? Yes, you're welcome once yes. again to the show. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. All right, uh, we are looking at uh, the this uh, boggling, mind boggling topic that has been disturbing a lot of our people on the social media, which is uh, the bigger evil and the lesser evil. And when I talk about the bigger evil and the lesser evil, of course, a lot of you know our critics and enemies. They they have always insisted that we should go for the lesser evil, which is uh, Atiku, than Buhari, who happens to be the bigger evil. So, what would be your reaction based on this? Uh, you see, we hate evil. We are the indigenous people of Biafra, being the Amazon and the Kano. One thing that is very clear with the indigenous people of Biafra, Biafra is about truth and light. Of course, this is the land of the rising sun. When you look at Biafra land, you know that Biafra is the energy giver. And of course, you look at Mazin Nandekano, he is whiter than white and he stands for the truth. And of course, you know in our philosophy, in our real life, uh, we the Igbos, we say Zioku Bondo. We are said the truth in its totality and we abhor anything that has to do with evil. We reject evil. And of course, when you look at the evil called Nigeria, we talk about the bigger and the lesser evil. We totally reject evil. Yes, the, the evil contraption called Nigeria, we talk about darkness in the world. We talk about the heart of, the, of darkness. Nigeria represents the center of the heart of darkness and it is evil in itself. When you talk about evil, there is no other place you can find the kind of evil you have found in the evil contraption called Nigeria. Everything negative, everything evil, everything that represents death, everything that is anti-human is found in Nigeria. So, when you are now looking at the greater evil and the lesser evil, you are talking about the man in Nassau, you are talking about the APC government, you are talking about the cabals that uh, have uh, taken charge over terrorism that is uh, it had, uh, actually come to stay in the evil contraction called Nigeria. And of course, we know about the PDP, and of course, uh, people address them to their lesser evil. But in 2015, a good number of them did not agree it was a lesser evil, because I know that there was an uprising, there was a total uh, shutdown down of uh, the evil contraction of Nigeria in 2015. There was a lot of, uh, you know what happened to Rivera Jonathan. So, why is it that they now look at them as lesser evil? Why do they think it's uh, well, so you see that this well, 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 Mazibet, come uh, uh, to look at that in a holistic angle. You know, you believe uh, they believe that uh, in from the history, like if you watch uh, the assertion or the submission of uh, uh, Mr. Fem Femi Fanekayobe, you understand he he was uh, kind of uh, letting the people know that uh, Buhari is uh, the third in the that is in the record of killing because uh, we have a uh, Usman Danfolio who is the grandfather of uh, killing who started the evil you know so he himself he believed that uh, okay after Ahmed Bello who he put in the uh, second range of uh, the evil now Buhari is the third as in he is uh, you know he's reputable you know for the evil he represents 
you understand and since he's, he has been in charge in, uh, in charge of the zoo government uh, killing our people committing all sort of evil so they believe that uh, instead of us sitting at home and uh, allowing the greater evil to remain in power to keep on unleashing the evil that he has been known for that it would have been better for the Biafras to <laughs> opt for the lesser evil okay. Okay. at least to save a lot of life as in that was the you know the, the, the center of the argument yes you know when you look at the baby saboteurs you look at the baby saboteurs and sometimes you look at also those of them that claim to be intellectuals you see that they, they have lost some sense of uh, reasoning because we uh Mazinan kind of have made it very very clear to the whole world that we are not fighting individuals yes we have in the uh, system that uh, uh, actually accommodated the evil when you talk about both the lesser evil and the bigger evil when you talk about genocide it, it, there's a system that made it possible so that is the system we, we, we are against when you talk about the evil thing the evil contention called nigeria yes we, there's something that makes it possible that so a, tyrant, a tyrant would sit on the seat of power and uh, be killing people and the system absor ab allowed it to happen so that is the system we are actually against not against any individual because it doesn't matter if it is an end we keep talking about it that if you want bring an angel from heaven and place him in Asorok, that angel will of course commit uh, the same evil because Nigeria is a system that only evil is what operates there because you know it was founded on evil. So when you are looking at uh, the Ibrahari as a person, remember that our leader is coming up again on Thursday. I remember what is coming to do on Thursday. Of course, he's made it clear that see, people thought that he's true with the evil thing called in Asorok. He said, No, I'm coming again, I'm going to make an international show of it. And on front, Thursday, you want to understand who the man in Asorok is. So, we, you talk about the name, bro, and that is a character that you know, we talk about the everything called Nigeria. It's a script that has been written and been rewritten over the time. Nigeria is a script for evil, and of course, it represents darkness. When you are talking about the place for the heart of darkness, a script written like hell, you know, the hell you talk about in the Bible. That is actually the geographical location they call Nigeria. And to confirm it in 21st century, President Donald Trump said this place is a shit hole. And you look at the shit hole, it's Africa is a shit hole. And actually, uh, Nigeria is, has been parading itself as the giant of Africa. And of course, uh, when you talk about shit hole, Nigeria has become the center of the shit hole you are talking about. So we are looking at the genocidist, a character. The man, why would they uh, actually want to continue uh, running on the with that name they call Buhari? Because he represents death, he represents genocide. He is the one that, of course, when you talk about, it, it's like he has been enshrined in the 21st century to drive. Like you have us, uh, uh, that for you talk, talk about Amadi Bono. Yes, those are names we know for uh, jihadists that uh, powerful jihadists that are always at the front. But in the 21st century, we knew that that character Buhari, so that, what, that is the character of the race to continue of course you can kill in his name you can do anything in his name you can commit genocide in his name so in the 21st century he is the one of uh, the character that is uh, had in position to do the, the, the duty to do the job and that is why you see when we talk about killings going on they do it in the name of Buhari it doesn't matter who is sitting there in Asorok it doesn't matter the Kabash operating in the background it doesn't matter the individual so they do it in the name of Buhari so when you are now addressing the bigger evil and the lesser evil and you are trying to look at making some people who are you know the gullible ones can only be deceived because you are talking about a system that allows only evil because a system that rejects good anything that has to do with good the system will reject it remember that under good of jonathan one of jonathan actually thought hey, okay let's do something let's actually try to live like human beings let's call these people together let's talk about the uh, uh, how our coexistence let's talk about how we can live together he organized the 2014 conference. Do you know what happened? As soon as President Jonathan, former President Jonathan, uh, arranged 2014 conference, you know the uprising. That was the end of it. That was why you see everything. Hell was let loose. And of course, you knew that there was uh, a lot of threats of genocide, a lot of threats of mass killing, a lot of threats. And that was why Bruno Jonathan said he had to surrender, he had to concede because he knew that mass, there was going to be massive killing. 
because he didn't want a lot of bloodshed and of course nobody should shed blood in his name in the name of anything, name of any politics that is how human beings reason but there in the north, of course they, they, they kill in the name of the man and that's why Buhari, of course when you talk about Buhari it doesn't matter whoever that is occupying that seat so when you are looking at the article now as a lesser evil what makes you think that article is a lesser evil and he has never been in power because it is only when he is in power when he is now uh, sitting there you now know whether he is a lesser evil or not. People don't know who Atiku is it. And of course, it's the same constitution, uh, constitution the same Islamic constitution as a full and man, the same uh, Sharia law. It's going to work. And of course, he has already told you he's coming to defend the right of the full and is the same, same right of Nieti Allah that they have right to, you know, the car colony business that uh, the, 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 uh, the APC started. He's telling you that it's not about political party. I think he's telling you that, see, which is about the constitution. And you ask yourself, what kind of constitution do you have in the whole contraction called Nigeria? This is a constitution. This is the same script that we are talking about. That was handed over to a person in 1999 by the military, Abu Abaka, prepared that military constitution and handed over to him. This is how this everything had been running. Remember 1960, while we were fighting for independence, Zeke was the ceremonial president and he had to stand in place of the queen. So, you know, you, the script has already been written and of course it, you have to just run by it so when you look at the evil thing called nigeria the evil thing called nigeria there's something that makes it work there's a script that has been written there's a foundation that has been made so it doesn't matter whether it is a higher evil or lesser evil what is important is that there's a foundation there's a script and that script has just got to run that is why things cannot be fixed that is why your vote cannot come that is why any election you can, you can, you can organize in nigeria is simply going to be a total mess all right thank you very much uh, Marcy Bell, for that wonderful submission in case you are just joining us this is uh Sarah's daily news analysis. Anyway, um, Marcy Bryce, just the way, just like uh, you concluded, um, the still the point of the argument, you understand, yes. is that sitting at home, you understand, he uh, will only bring out two results uh, according to them, you know, according to what they believe in. You understand, we are talking about the people's belief, yes, what, uh, uh, the uh, critics, uh, you know, what the baby saboteurs are saying. Yes, you know, they are saying, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, yeah, I want us to address this issue in a holistic manner. Yeah, you understand, yes. so they believe that uh, if Atiku, who happens to be the lesser evil, should get in, then it will also help the Biafrans by reducing the evil, this, uh, the bigger evil would have been unleashing to the Biafrans. So they believe that we are better we are better off with the lesser evil than for us to go with the devil or the killer that we know that has been killing our people. Uh, so I was wondering, you know, <laughs> if what they are saying is actually going to, you know, uh, you, you know, the, the worst thing we can do to ourselves is not allowing ourselves to reason for ourselves. They shouldn't think for us. We, the Lord shouldn't think for us, telling us that see, Buhari is a, is a genocidist, that you know, he has been established to be one. And of course, they are trying to think for us, as if uh, self defense is not a right. Do you know all this right? Because they have been killing us, they now see it is a right to kill us. And of course, they are not judging that see, this one Buhari is a man that has been established to kill, to commit genocide. Just like uh, uh, the Afrodia and uh, since 1804, we know that the genocide have been, uh, 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 co they have continued co committing genocide against the indigenous people of Biafra. So, this time around, they telling you that uh, it's this lesser evil, they shouldn't think for us. We have the right to think for ourselves, and we know what is good for ourselves. We are not uh, looking for who kills Biafra less. Why should somebody on earth be killing Biafrans? What right has got has they got to kill the indigenous people of Biafra? Remember one thing our leader said in the last broadcast. He said, "You see, he has told the international community, yes, we have been respected for our peaceful approach. We have been so peaceful, and of course, the international community respect us for that. But we want them that we will not forever remain peaceful." very very important for anybody to think that uh, all we just need to do is not to sit at home we should go and help atiku or help buhari you know that is stupidity we are thinking for ourselves we have a right to self-determination we want to get biafra restored our goal is to restore biafra our goal has nothing to do with nigeria of course you know that it doesn't matter you cannot please the answer full of me what have we not done to please them since the creation of the evil thing they call nigeria what has our 
our people not done to please them. We are really not the one that tell them to be good enough. The only way is when they were created, where it wasn't our people that were taking them to develop it. Where did we get them out of it? Didn't you see that 1966 when our people we had not massacred there? Didn't you see 1967 had a massacre? Even in the airport, in the international airport, so many of our people wanted to go flight. They stopped going to the international airport and butchered our people. Yes, it wasn't this uh, 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 that time we are not even talking about this evil thing, uh, this evil, evil cabal. But the thing is that the script has been written and it doesn't matter who comes to sit there. That person, uh, uh, do, do you even imagine that you know about some job? Because the script has to be followed, I want somebody had to wipe away communities in Biafra land. So that is the lesser evil you are talking about. Too. You are talking about PDP as the lesser evil. And of course, you see Atiku. Atiku was with Obasanjo. He was studying Obasanjo doing those things. And Atiku wants to prove to you that he's powerful. And he's a boy called full animal. So when you are talking about who uh, kills Biafra, whether somebody will kill Biafra less or more, what is the difference? Are, are we begging not to be killed? Is it is it their right to keep killing us? Uh, you, you know, very very important. I would have said it that we have been peace for all the while. Yes, but he has warned them. He has warned the international community. Don't think that we will remain peaceful forever. We are not actually going to remain peaceful forever. Yes, we have to remain peaceful, and of course, in the next few days, we have the Afro referendum, and of course, from that referendum, a lot of decisions will be taken. But the truth about it is that nobody has got a right to kill the indigenous people of Biafra. All right, thank you very much, uh, Mazi Bell, for that wonderful submission. All right. Uh, people you've had it uh, we've got a mind of our own in case you're just joining us this is sunrise daily news analysis and my name is uh, Mazi Victor Onyido and I have Mazi Bell with me in the studio all right uh, um, coming to the issue of uh, self-defense that you have just mentioned uh, but before we go that I want us to also look at uh, what transpired yesterday you know a lot of uh, our brothers I mean our IPOD brothers you know they peacefully marched through the streets of Japan land you know spreading the gospel and it was so scintillating and so breathtaking that a lot of market women and a lot of people who has Biafra at heart they march out on the street to spread the gospel of Biafra restoration the gospel of redemption so in that very aspect and uh, you know that IPOB is a proscribed organization according to the Nigerian law and uh, they believe that IPOB is uh, a terrorist organization so what would you make of that don't you think these guys might be you know and themselves by going out since they are recognized as a, as a terrorist uh, organization. I'm talking from that very context. Yes, I understand what you're saying. Remember that when you talk about the terrorist tag, that terrorist tag, yes, we know the role that our Igbo politicians played. Our politicians proscribed indigenous people of Biafra and Nigerian government hastily ran to tag us all terrorists. And of course, uh, the, the international community rejected that terrorist tag. It couldn't fly. So the terrorist tag is nonsense. You see, but before the terrorist tag, remember that the tag, they have already tagged us. Uh, they called us infidels. I you know what it means in the Sharia law. So remember the law that is all in Nigeria uh, with everything about Sharia. Forget the constitution, the Abu Salam Abaka constitution. Of course, even the constitution have uh, is, is that mentioned in it, but there is no Christianity there. But do you know that the evil thing called Nigeria is being controlled from the Sharia law? Remember even when our leader was in Kujia prison, there was a time they we came up they said we are going to travel with Sharia law. That's to tell you that that is the, uh, the real constitution that they recognize there in the north. So, whether they tag us terrorists or not, they have actually called us infidels. See, the other day, those of them who are talking at Tiku, at Tiku and uh, or whatever, remember that oh, P2D is still campaigning. <laughs> P2D is still campaigning. He only went to the north with uh, their brother at Tiku. He went dead. But still, they attacked his convoy. And he is still just a vice president, as if, and people are just jubilating that see that Peter B was given a, a, a chance to become vice president. And uh, that, that is, it doesn't, it's a conquest citizen. And not just that it's a conquest citizen, they still hate you. They are still unaccepted. He went to campaign in the north and they burnt his cover. They uh, attacked him. I don't, I don't know whether it's that. Like. But, but, but um, you know, just like the issue we raised now concerning Peter B cover that was burnt in the day. In Abuja, you know, as in, I was beginning to wonder, uh, the people that burnt his convoy are the same house of full and people that he's running with. So I don't know how you can, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yes, we are, we are coming from a background. 
we are, we, are, we, are talk, we are talking about the terrorist tag. And I tell you that before the terrorist tag, that we have, we have already been tagged inf infidels. And that is already the terrorism in their angle. They feel that we, we shouldn't exist. We, uh, uh, the, the evil thing called Nigeria is their gift. And they should. So when you do capital B, and now we are talking about election, he is not yet a vice president, remember. He is only uh, with his, uh, their own brother. Who should actually, they should have been happy that, okay, they, they, that their brother is running and uh, you have two Fulanis. They are still not satisfied that they are two Fulanis running. Do you understand all the added evil that we are talking about? They are still not satisfied that you have APC presenting a Fulani, whether he's come from Niger, whether he's from Sudan, a Fulani person. And they are still not happy that you have Atiku Abubaka. That's not their problem. They still want to, to attack P2B. That is to tell you that no matter what you do, no matter how much you what you conceive to make them happy, these people can never be pleased. They can never be appeased. They see you as infidel, and of course you don't belong to to, to to them. You don't. You shouldn't come anything close to them. And that is just the system. That is how the foundation is. That is how they are building it. So you thinking that there's hope for you in the evil thing called Nigeria? You are of all people most miserable. That is anybody who has hope in Nigeria has is just living in misery. So Nigeria is not a country. It will be, uh, of course, I, I don't know whether he actually succeeded in escaping because if you see how his Congo was attacked, you wonder whether he succeeded, whether he's alive. I've not heard from him any of us in that time. I don't know, maybe he has spoken, or maybe people who have been monitored. But you see, that is what the everything we are talking about. That is how they have fated us. If they would not accept uh, Peter be running uh, concurrently with Atiku, then talk about if he was campaigning for, as a president. Assuming P2B was given the ticket, I mean, we are still talking about campaign, we are still talking about election, we are not talking about winning the election, because winning the election is a different problem altogether. So this time around, you see that the, the kind of evil that is, is, so they have already tagged those terrorists from 1804, but, but, but uh, go from the look of things, don't you think that P2B is just a means to an end? You see, when you talk about a means to an end, Peter B has forgotten that the journey ended 2014. They rejected two, 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 uh, 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 the 2014 crop fab. And that was the end because that was the only chance. You know, when we told them that, see, a time is coming when we want to negotiate and it is too late. They think that it's, they don't understand it. Because these people, they are extremists. They don't believe that what they have planned to do, they will continue to do it. When we were Jonathan assembled the 2014 coffer, that was actually a chance for everybody that had, were grouped to come together and, of course, say, and when it failed, that was the end of the everything called Nigeria. Because there's never going to be any chance again. You know, Talking about the means to an end, what is Peter B going to do? Peter B's case is just like he's giving himself as a, a voluntary sacrifice to the North because we are not also with him, supporting him. We have told him to for, back down because we are boycotting. We expect Peter B to join us in boycotting the election, but he will not listen. He is still going to uh, thinking that the Fulanis will love him better than his own people. That is it. He's trying simply volunteering himself to be given to them like a wild beast. They will consume him. So we're talking about uh, uh, even. Mr. And the end has already come. 2014 was the last chance for peace. And of course, still that they have rejected it. And that was why, as soon as the, the APC government was launched, they uh, started removing every Biafra from a, any position. They know that the end has actually come. Why was it that 95% of the whole appointment we have uh, away from here? How many Biafras? Even the Chief Justice of uh, the evil thing called Nigeria, they knew that the end has actually come. That was why they removed him and placed a Sharia man there. So the end came long time ago. It's only that people fail to realize what is happening. Mazin and the Kano has been calling for an awakening, telling you that the end has actually come. All we need to do is stand up. We are involved in self determination. That is freedom fight. You need to wait up and take your position that is all it takes we need to be in our position we need to stand up and take what belongs to us and that is all we need to do and yes when you mentioned our people moving to the streets yesterday you see market women you see young boys and girls you see they are from from you, you know the last time we, we, we were saying it and i said something that see a time is coming when you want to have one of these days 
when you would want to say, oh, could it be that the hand of the clock will be revised, so that I'll play my own role, because your conscience will judge you. When Biafra is restored and you never did, did anything, so many people are thinking of what Biafra will do for them. But you have, have you ever thought of what you can do before Biafra restoration? Because your children will ask you in the future, what did you do? What role did you play? Because we are living in a world where everybody must be involved. It's a cold freedom fight. What did you do? What contribution did you make? And that was one of the reasons you will see that even the old women would be rot out to the street and say, if they cannot carry guns because they have no guns, if they don't have ammo tanks, if they have nothing, let them use their tongue, let them use their mouth. And of course, you see, this world, this heaven and earth, according to the biblical story, was created by speaking. It, it was power, the power of life and death. Well, it's in the power of the tongue. So, they use their tongue. So, we don't have AK-47. We don't have our mouth tanks, but we have our mouth to speak. And that was why these women trooped out, these boys, these uh, the, uh, IPV family members, went out to the streets and start talking about sit at home, our referendum. This is the only chance we have to do it. Because we, if we don't do it now, there's no other opportunity for us. Mazin Nandikano, Chuko Kadema has actually helped him. And this is in his wisdom, how we, far we have come. He promised a referendum. And here is it at our doorsteps. And it takes us as a responsible people, people as a responsible members of the international community to do something to make sure that all the chances that have been given to us we take advantage of them that is why we saw yesterday all through the Afro land there was no way in the Afro land that the, uh, the, the, their voices were not, not heard so People are making efforts. Those of them who are still in the, in the marketplaces, who are participating everywhere in Biafra land. So that is what we are talking about. We are talking about our quest because we are really serious. We the, Biafra is everything we have. Biafra is everything. Without Biafra, we are gone. We are doomed because we have been attacked terrorists. Not just that we attack terrorists, we have been addressed as infidels. And they said uh, 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 the Biafra land, of course, have been given to them. They want to soak the, their Quran into the Atlantic Ocean. And for them to do that, they want to wipe out every human being that lives in Biafra land. They didn't just say they started doing it in 1804. They committed genocide. They have been committing genocide up until now. So we have only one chance. That is 16 February 2019 to sit our at home and that will be our referendum. You know, sitting at home will count. And you're not just sitting at home alone. You are boycotting the evil election they are going to conduct. Then you are welcoming the, the spirit of Biafra. It's in a focus. It's not right for any human being, any Biafra to think about what, how to make it work to go and tell anybody to call the awareness to call the consciousness let you be the song in your mouth let you be the word in your, use your tongue because your tongue is powerful in us it, it's more powerful than AK-47 your tongue is more powerful than armor tanks. That is why you need to do something. You need to go out. You need to share the good news of your family referendum because it's already here with us and there's nothing anybody can do about it. So trooping out to the streets, of course, you will see more of it because we are only having few days. It's only a uh, Saturday. We are not talking about weeks to come. We are not talking about months to come. Uh, 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 that's that we are talking about is one that have reason never to fall again. In the next days, just few days, and then let's start counting hours from now. Their family referendum will be held and it's going to be a sit at home on the 16th February 2019 we are simply going to be sitting at home enjoying our focus and you see the Afra come before your very eyes. Wow, that is quite interesting. Thank you very much Masi for that wonderful submission. Alright, dear friends and lovers of freedom all over the world, this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis and uh, I believe some of you must have been calling your people right, uh, right away to let them know that 16th of February is going to be a great day. It's a day of a sit at home and also a day for a referendum. It's a day we are going to choose between light and darkness. It's a day we are going to choose between life and death. Whether we wish to continue in, in the contraction called Nigeria, which represents death that we are afraid of, or uh, we choose light because Biafra, as we are all meant to know, that Biafra is life, an abundant life, you know. Life and prosperity is in Biafra, and everything we so much desire in Biafra is life so call your people call everyone out there tell them let them know of course some of our people in Biafran land are already doing the evangelism the old women the old men and just like uh, our brother Marzi Bright has already put it that uh, mouth somehow is uh, powerful than AK-47 but can you <laughs> educate us more how do you think uh, you know just a spoken word can be so powerful than 
That was okay for some. I thought okay for some is more should be more powerful. Yes, it work. yes. You know, uh, there's something you need to understand. Mazinland the Kano said Biafra will be restored, and of course he said we are going to restore Biafra, and we have one instrument. What is that instrument? The instrumentality of truth. That is what Mazinland the Kano have been using. He has no AK-47. Do you know they have tested it? The Nigerian government, the Nigerian army, and of course everybody, because when he said he was saying that he was going to restore Biafra just with the instrumentality of the truth, and they were looking at it to be stupidity. They will look at it to be nonsense, and they said it is childish. And a good number of people have already been telling us, we cannot continue uh, talking about this, we cannot talk about peace. But see, they see where we are today. Mazin and the Kano only came on air preaching the good news, talking about the truth. What did he use? That is his tongue. He has, Tupo Kikadema has given him a, a tongue that is stronger than all the enemies in the world. That the enemies cannot stand. When he speaks, the evil co people crumble. When Mazin and the Kano speaks, everything uh, stands still. Because there is power in a spoken word. That is where Tupo Kikadema have actually placed. That is why you see truth is more potent than any weapon anywhere in the world. So the, the only thing that has been missing in the world is truth. And that is why you see the evil thing in the corner. Nigeria. It's about lie. Because Nigeria is a creation of lie. The creation of Nigeria is a creation of lie. There is no people on earth called Nigeria. Do you know that Nigeria is not a country? It was an evil creation. And of course you can imagine. Remember the, how the name came about from uh, uh, Mongo Park. Saying he, he has discovered something. And he just named it Niger area. Niger. Then um, from there you talk about uh, Flora Shaw and uh, the Lugard sitting in their head, uh, just enjoying themselves, and they talk about uh, the business, beauty business center that was a real uh, Niger company. And of course they are thinking of um, uh, how to run business and do um, amalgamates, and uh, they think of what to call it because they needed to rename. They now say, okay, let's look at it at Niger area. So that is how a business name became a country. That is how you are now called a Nigeria. That is how we, the indigenous people of Biafra, we became, we are now being addressed as a Nigerian. And that is a lie. What do you think that we can destroy that lie, if not truth? The only thing that destroys a lie is truth. The only thing that destroys darkness is light. Biafra is the land of the rising sun. And of course, it takes the instrumentality of truth, which Tupo Kadem has given to Mazin and the Kano. That is why when Mazin and the Kano speaks, it's like thunder striking. All the enemies, you know when thunder strikes, you know that the, the man has a reverse gear. Don't you see what is happening? Everything is standing still. And of course, they are shaking. They are shaking in their covers. They are shaking everywhere. Because Tupo Kikadiyama has actually put the word of truth in the mouth of Mazen Nandekano. And when he speaks, everything in the zoo crumbles. And when he says, the zoo must fall. That is what it is. Has the zoo not fallen? How has the mighty fallen? The evil thing called Nigeria that has been parading itself as a giant of Africa. Look at how it's fallen just by the word of Mazen Nandekano. Mazen Nandekano speaks and everything in the zoo. Combo. So the zoo has actually fallen, never to rise again. It's only Biafra that have risen, never to fall again. All right, thank you very much. Biafra has risen, never to fall again. That is a very wonderful submission. All right, uh, our people, in case you are just joining us, this is uh, Sunrise Daily News Analysis, and my name is Mazi on the Victor, and with me in the studio is Victor Riako. All right, thank you. And coming uh, to come to think about uh, the Ofo Kasi you just mentioned, in fact, it's quite uh, painting and inviting. So, can you uh, tell us more about the Okazi of Latin? Because uh, the way people are rushing about the Okazi, I got some. Uh, complain yesterday that uh, Okazi is becoming more stars in, in, in the African land. So do you think that the Okazi that we have at hand now is going to be enough to go around? You see, we, 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 it for we have enough Okazi in the African land that we export it. Okazi is being exported from the African land to every part of the world today. So, you see, Okazi in Biafra land grows naturally. And of course, Chuko Kadama gave everything to us in abundance. Everything that we have in, abund in Biafra land was given to us in abundance. Yes, if you visit, uh, 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 if you go to Akwaibum, if you go to the riverine areas, if you go to the coastal regions of Biafra land, you will see the powerful, uh, 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 the way Okazi grows. You see it growing like ordinary uh, uh, grass, just, just like uh, 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 that. You, you, know, you don't even need to nurture it for it to grow. All you need to do is just be cutting it. So, there in the coastal region, they have enough. 
and of course from the coastal region uh, it, it, what is in there cannot even be exhausted so we have enough of kazi as our kazi we have enough Chuko kadem gave us everything in abundance and of course even those of them in diaspora if they need some they can order place they can only place or another so there's enough for kazi for everybody you know how uh, it is uh, being consumed in, uh, the, uh, the, uh, in the coastal region they eat a lot of food that even you wonder whether whether it will finish but it doesn't just finish it's just growing naturally there and of course in the upland we have enough so kazi is enough there we have enough for kazi can never be exhausted it's all about competition but i see a competition between the uh, 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 Biafans in the coastal region and of course in the upland because they use it there as uh, afan uh, and of course they prepare it in a vegetable way uh, without any but here in the, uh, in the upland they, of course they put a goosey they put a chara they put so, so far there you know that's just where the competition is so so many people are now the story within the two, two varieties should i go with the idea should i go with uh, uh, of course with uh, uh, apple album so uh, to only of the option but make sure you test it because there's something spiritual about it that is the food of freedom you are eating yourself into freedom you are beginning to enjoy the starvation that took place the, uh, the after uh, during the genocide that is what you call grab the amount to compensate compensate us and from that day we have meat on our table meat will never dry again in their we will never lack food again in their and that is the beginning of our freedom because you could has given us everything in abundance all right thank you very much uh, mazi by uh for that wonderful contribution chuko kadema has given us freedom and we are going to eat it for kazi and eat our way through our freedom all right uh members of freedom that are watching us all, uh, all over the world this is uh, sunrise daily news analysis and my name is mazi victor onido and i have mazi bites with me in the studio all right uh, um we have our brother mazi lv saudi who is standing by to join us to give us his own submission and uh, we are going to hook up with him right now to get his own submission make sure you share our program make sure you invite your friends and well wishers and make sure you also call your people to tell them what is going on in their land the message and the effort all right um mazi are you there good morning and welcome to sunrise daily news analysis Hello, Mazi LV Saudi. Good morning. Can you hear us? Hey, Mazi, I can hear you. Can you hear me now? All right, I can hear you. Good morning and welcome to Sunrise Daily News Analysis. Yes, I said good morning to you and uh, good morning to Mazi Periaku. Both of you are looking gorgeously cute this very morning in the Biafran Empire. We are getting so, our own podcast. <laughs> of course, I hope, have you gotten your own uh, Okazi ready? Well, um, if you try to get Okazi ready, I will make sure that I eat organic food to a kind of uh, Damage to be with um, our own traditional food that uh, we put in the classes here. Okay, all right, thank you very much, uh, Mazi Elvis Saudi. And before we go ahead, I would like to read the report we just got uh, recently. Um, the, the report goes like this US will only monitor Nigeria election and its outcome by CIA. Spamnews.com. And um, okay. All right. Uh, U.S. raises a man over massive invasion of aliens from Chad, Niger Republic, Sudan into Nigeria for election region. The United States State Central Intelligence Agency (CIA) has said that the United States of America will, through satellites, monitor Nigeria's election and its outcome. It promises to impose sanctions and visa denial to anyone culpable of election malpractices. The Republican reports that the American agency raised the alarm of influx of foreigners from Chad, Niger, Cameroon, Sudan, into Nigeria for purpose of failing the electoral practices. 
now, where are the details? Over the past few weeks, we have recorded within the chat, Niger area, a massive movement of uh, machineries and weapons from our findings. We discovered that majority of the talks and machineries, including the position of light heavy weapons, were all contracted by personnel in the presence of Nigerian government to move into Nigeria for the purpose of aiding electoral malpractices. A state watch has been able to record a steady mass movement of talks and other Nigerians to the northern part of Nigeria. The number of aliens are from the nearby countries sharing boundaries with Nigerian states in the north. They are Chad, Niger and Sudan. 60 to 65 percent are from Niger, while 20 to 25 percent are from Chad and the rest 10 to 15 percent are from Sudan. The CIA thereby wants Nigerian government, including the INEC, to take note and avert any ill malpractices that will lead to disaster and loss of lives, including the people's mandate throughout their choices and references for leadership. The United States will not accept any action of electoral malpractices geared towards denying the people credible vote and election. The United States will not hesitate to impose a sanction and visa denial to any perpetrator of any threat to democracy in Nigeria. The United States will monitor the media, the elections and its outcome and the people's mandate must be respected. The statement states. Alright, Mass Levy, so are you still there? I'm letting them know more words. Alright, so what is going to be your reaction based on this very report on our table? Well, um, my uh, reaction or contribution towards the um, security report from the USA is slightly understood, but um, I will feel that I'm not sure. This was the very first time that this set of um, CIA, FBI, uh, JCC, and all that not. And ICC has been the process of investigations and all manner of uh, dealing of the satellites and what not and whatever. But at the end of it all, um, nothing has been done. The way we need right now is an action by the international community to suit the masses, these security to find it out that we are the, we are the people that supplies them the 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 the, the uh, Weapons, like you said, both light and the heavy weapons system, both of our eyes, they say, countries, and they are the people that come up with this whole idea saying that they are monitoring. Let me just tell you, who's doing who? They know the truth, we don't need all these things. The one we need right now is the new drug. This is sugar. Protect it to be sugar and, I mean, put it, I cannot put it, protect the life of the masses that allow a week so people are being gone down with this new weapon. And by the way, when we begin to search for something else that we are saying is, we need adequate support, we need adequate security protection, we need uh, 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 an adequate move to be taken, not only investigations. Investigations are good, but it is you when you carry out the assignment properly to put things in place to kind of to save masses, not to be endangered by means of your threats or your investigation. But when you do this, when you begin to kind of bring up your investigation reports, and the other people they know you as someone that don't carry out assignment that was always in the early child came out and said that all of them will be burdened by the works. Everybody that that is the the means that they will kill them and take them home. So these are no more. Let us see them in action. Let us see them I mean doing things they said they would do. That is what we need right now. So thank you. Alright, thank you very much, uh, Mas, for that wonderful contribution. But don't you think uh, from uh, the report that is on ground and for them to give that, that kind of warning, they have already uh, started action towards that end because you talk about uh, action, uh, speaking louder than uh, voicing it out. Don't you think that voicing it out in the first place is also part of the action that is expected? Because uh, since they reply, just like you submitted, as uh, 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 giving his own warning to the international community, warning them to stay clear from their own internal affairs because anybody who dares to defy them will end up going home in body bags. So don't you think by them giving such a, an intelligent report and 
and uh, speaking out. Don't you think that they are also planning to do something in case if something goes wrong? Well, um, my favorite, what you just said is just like a thief open to be a dead man's shoe without knowing the date of the man's death. You know, um, war is easier than death. You know, um, we are just subjects as to what we to see the outcome, but what we are saying is they need to do the needful right now, not only what they are not worried about what but what can we react? And what are being commanded to react? But they are human beings, they are not gods. They what can we react? The people they have the power. We are not like that. The north and the east, the, 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 the country that offers the world, they are the people that they will never think they will say. And if they give for them to be to be seen, this is the way they will take the appropriate measure. Then why is it that they don't want to do the needs with the people using all these things, using political words, you know, trying to deviate from some reasonings and some things to know that this is the actual fact. We know that there are very similar to our ground right now. But what we need is that we do the needs with this time because we need their appropriate approval and great protections. Apart from that, we are not going to because we are not seeing this. The, the Ernest International Trade Company, they are going to come last time and uh, blah 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 stuff like, like that at the end of the day when it ends goes to look at the drain and uh, at the after the whole report the Nigerian uh, 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 go to uh, uh, where they can tell you uh, 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 this is so strictly to the north the Bukhara is so strictly to the north and one thing that the institution got by the people and two people have really and uh, 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 let me just tell you, they, 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 they are very much, they want them to put things in place. If you really want to carry a battery at your back, and my legs are touching the ground, is that you allow me to do the record of myself, and your battery and my legs are touching the ground, and you are crumbling and shouting and doing it, that you are happy me out. That is kind of rules, uh, uh, kind of, uh, we don't need this kind of rules, what we need is, do whatever you say, you will do, you will do, you will do, you will do, and you're telling your enemies that this is the, your strategy, that this is your plan, that this is what you're about to do. And you're not going to tell you, you, you end up doing nothing. And to engage the people that live around the vicinity. Because right now, the majority is at, at, at the church of God powder. You know, so when you, 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 at that time, you need, you need freedom to transmit freedom and they know it. So this is the need for So thank you very much. All right, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, sir. Um, I also appreciate you very much for that wonderful contribution. But uh, from the scale of 1 to 50, what, would you, uh, uh, what percentage would you be giving to the Biafras based on the evangelism that is going on in Biafran land so far? Do you think the message has saturated Biafran land enough for people to comply? Because this is our only chance. And I don't think we can afford to miss this chance. So from your, from your own perspective, what would you make of that? Well, um, the people that said that good things are good to be emulated, and um, I think the others are, we are uh, uh, on the wrong light, we are good to be emulated, and uh, why am I saying this? Yesterday I saw our volunteers doing the needful, and it was great, it was awesome. But I expected such a thing to happen in the Ubuja as well. But I believe maybe in the in part it used to come before the, the, the elections. But then we do the same thing as well. They did wonderfully well. I will give them kudos for that because their prayer is unstoppable, whether they don't like it or not. Whether they, let me just tell you, there is no king I will let our leader so I will not be for. So. He has a kind of, he impacted a lot of new elections in system that the, the, the Vietnamese used to, to defeat Americans. You know that this was the statement and the, the, the system that the Vietnamese used to destroy America. America thought that Vietnam would be crushed from the century days. But the, 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 the Vietnamese stood them wrong and at the same time, up to today, they didn't push, they didn't move their car. So, and that is what we are in part 
children will be able to recognize you, not to be calling you a couple, whenever you do so, whenever you come to our visit and that couple visited or that auntie visited. So that they will recognize you, you will be able to present some more power. And some of those folks just said that, okay, take care of them, they are sneaking very good powers. And each of them will talk to them, we have been learning things of sitting and listening at home, which will benefit you just at any time, at any time, and then you come. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, our brother Mark, for that wonderful submission. And uh, stay blessed anywhere you are. All right, our people, we are having a very wonderful advice from our uh, brother Mark, LV7 Dewe. You stay home, you enjoy your own forecast on that very day. And to go Kabiyama, you give us what you want. All right, uh, Mazi, uh, right, uh, Oriako. Uh, yes. Welcome once again. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, how would you react to our brother's submission? Yes. Uh, in addition to what he has said about the intelligent report from the United States of America, we need to understand something. That the bulk of the work is now with the indigenous people of Biafra. Yes, uh, the killings did not start today. All you have got today is that the northern uh, cabals were emboldened to the point that every final told them clearly. It's because, uh, you know, why would you not tell them that they will go back in money bags? Were they not the one that, uh, when you look at in Twitter uh, all the while, yes, the United States of America have said that the killings in the uh, Middle Belt was horrible. That the killings in Nigeria is horrible. And, uh, of course, uh, those that died today, uh, you know, they have been buried. Mass burials were conducted. And, of course, you still see that the killings are still going on. You know, it has not stopped. The only thing is that the media have not been covering it, them. There have not been anybody covering them because Nigerian government have overshadowed everywhere. So that is the only thing. Of course, we have uh, we, 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 everything. Every attention now is on the uh, 2019 election. That is what they are talking about. And you see, see some of them in the middle they are talking about election. But here in Biafra, we have made it clear that we are going to sit at home and have a, have a referendum. What was it that would make uh, LFI to stand up and tell them that they are going back from money bags? It's because uh, they have been burdened. They have seen that they, they, they have been killing and uh, no, they have not remained, remained unresisted. Nobody has actually resisted them. Do you know how many millions of Biafras have been killed? How many Christians have been killed? When you have more than a hundred years, something that has lasted more than a hundred years, is it not becoming a culture? It has already be become the culture of Nigeria to kill Christians. And of course, um, since they have done it all the while and um, nothing happens, so all of us uh, now see himself as a, a lord. He now tells you that, see, anybody that dare us, you know, because he has, you know, when we talk about Nigeria becoming the capital of terrorism. Nigeria is leading in terrorism today. It's leading terrorism for the whole world. And of course, you know, Osama bin Laden attacked the other day. And of course, the other time, and the U.S. can't forget that attack. But who knows where they are going to attack from next time? You see, it, this time around, it may not come from that end. Because Nigeria is being watched. And you know, we talk about terrorism increasing. Yes, they have always warned. Like our brother said, the United States have always warned. Well, what about the Kitty and Osho election? They were warnings also. What about all the elections that have been conducted in the past, even the 2014 election? There were warnings. So, uh, all of that today is emboldened, and the northern cabals, they are not bold enough to stand up and tell you that we will kill and nothing will happen. And that is why I keep asking, well, does it really mean that these people will continue killing and committing mass murder, genocide, killing Christians, anyhow, and nothing actually happens? You know, but, but, but uh, don't you think from the report I have just read that uh, for the fact that the international community, the CIA, is giving us such a, a, a warning to the Nigerian government, don't you think that something will happen this time around if they, continue, if they should continue the killing? I want to tell you something. Without we, the indigenous people, taking responsibility, nothing will happen. That is what these people have observed. And that is why when our leader is saying that we, we have got a role to play, you know, you need to understand what Nigeria is doing in the international community. Nigeria is actually doing everything to, you know, when they do commit this evil, they hide them from the international community. And of course, they keep telling you about their sovereignty, and when you talk to them, they tell you it is internal issues, that there is a, there, there is a lot of sovereignty. And that is why you can only take, take the indigenous people to choose. And that is why in that report, do you know what the aspect, the aspect that I thought we would be looking at? He said, they said they will want to monitor the election and the outcome. That is the most important aspect of it. When the outcome has to do with our approach, what we are doing. 
They want to see that the people rejected this government. That is what actually they want to see. They want to see the people stand up and take what belongs to them. Because you see the international community, all the time we talk about the international community, they can only see their as watchdogs as long as you refuse to do anything. They can only be warning. And of course, you see them all the time. You see them coming out and they issue warnings. But if you the indigenous people are comfortable with the situation, they will not do anything about it. That is why you see that. They keep sitting. And LFI has understood that. And that is why he's taking advantage of it. He's coming out to speak and telling them that, see, nobody has wanted to interfere. So, because they see it as internal issues. And that is why when Mazinga the Khan is telling you the simplest thing to do, people this voting, sit at home. That is the solution. Because by the time everybody in Biafra land are sitting at home, that is actually money in what the, is the, the real work that is supposed to be done. Because that day, the world will see that we are sitting at home, we do not give them our mandates. Because that is actually where the challenge is. When you give these people your mandate, you are giving them the right to kill you. That is what you have simply done in, in going out on election day. The, the election, the vote will not count. But the international community, seeing that people came out to vote, and of course the result had been announced, when, 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 yes, they will talk about violence, they say yes, there was violence, said, and then those are just the report they will make. So, but you see, our leader has a simple uh, 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 strategy, and that is our referendum. He said, when we sit at home, the international committee will observe our seat at home. And that is how our seat at home do count. So, when we are sitting at home, it means that these people have no rights over us. We are not giving them our mandates. And of course, because they have lost our mandate, they cannot talk about the sovereign law. Of course, we didn't give them that right in the first place to represent you. So there is no sovereignty anymore. We have taken away that right they have been using to claim that, yes, they are sovereign. Because the people have rejected them. So that is what it takes to end that voting call Nigeria. We need to sit at home and refuse to vote. We boycott the election. And that is the outcome that the US is looking for. That is what the international community have been looking for. They are looking for something that actually to hold that the people have actually taken a stand and the people have actually taken a decision. If you go out to vote, do you know what they will do? They will read the election. And when they read this election, they will tell the international committee that the election took place. But when we sit at home, they will have no right to tell the international committee that the election took place. Actually, that was why they brought Hatiku out. Actually, that was exactly why they came for P2B. Actually, that was why you see them coming out and uh, they want to, they rolled out money for Bibi Sabo to us. That, what, what they actually want to do is to make sure that on the election day, they want to see people on the street. That is enough for Nigeria. That is all they want. To see you on the street. And that is why one day they have said, sit at home. That is the simple thing. That is simple logic. And that is why the international community wants to see the outcome of the election. Yes, if you go out and vote, you have simply given them the mandate to continue killing, to continue committing genocide. And then, the international community will observe that, yes, you want out to vote and there is nothing they are going to do about it. That is why we must sit at home with indigenous people of Biafra. If the rest of them in the West, and of course in the Middle Belt, choose to vote, that is their choice. Because they have been killed. And of course, the US can only tell you that See, the killing in uh, the Nigeria is horrible, and we are not going to watch it happen. But before they will say they are not going to watch it happen, you, did you not go out and vote to the same people that are killing you? So that is it. So you are actually making them helpless. Even when they want to interfere, even when they want to, when they want to do something, if the people refuse to take responsibility, they will remain helpless. So that is why we must sit at home and not vote. If you do that, you have crippled Nigeria. It, it will not have any mandate to represent you anywhere in the world again. Alright, thank you very much, our brother, for that very wonderful submission. And uh, Biafra is all over the world. We have had what our brother just uh, submitted right now. And uh, in case if you are just joining us, this is uh, Sunrise Daily News Analysis. My name is Mazi Aude Victor. And with me here in the studio is uh, Mazi Bright. We are going on a short break. And when we come back, we'll open the phone line for you to call in and uh, uh, give in your own contribution. Stay tuned and don't go anywhere. Watch him
Hello? Yeah. But now I'm going home. I'm gone. I can't take it anymore. I'm going home. I'm tired of all this bullshit. I'm going home. Alright, welcome back again. I'm Lovers of Freedom. I'm the Afghan son over the world. My name is Amazon the Victor and I have Mazel Bright with me in the studio. Thank you so much. Alright, our lines are open. We are ready to take your call now, calling and giving your contribution as we are making progress. Alright, Mazel Bright, yeah. you are saying something before we go. Yeah. Okay, we have a Hello, good morning. We have a call on the WhatsApp. Hello, good morning. Good morning. What's your name? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. My name is uh my name is uh Rich Mitchell Quest. Um I'm calling from Mozambique Maputo. And right, I so am welcome, from Nairobi Otrenu Precise Otrenu Precisely. Okay. Otrenu precisely. okay. Yeah, I want to ship some things in, in, in today topic. Uh right, go ahead. No. I'll leave a Muslim on the panel. When I joined him, I heard him say many things. And I picked a word from what he said. He said, what will help us in this our struggle is for us to go back to who we are. And no one will help us. That's the first thing he said. And I picked that word. Another thing he said. He said we should do everything that in, in, our, pos in our possible best to achieve Biafra. We should do everything, anything at all to get Biafra. That's two. Number three. In the last, uh, in the last um, this speech we made the last time, we all said this again. He said, the man that won height war is an evil man. And he won height war with the Tumabo. So, what am I saying this? It's about our brothers who they killed yesterday, who they took yesterday. What makes a man to be a man is what he can capable of doing. You can't just be a man because you have something on, uh, in, in between your legs. Man is what of capable of doing. The people who will know him as a man because of what he has done what he did so now what i'm saying now you can't come on the street if you being if i don't know who you are i said nobody never got to know see i will bring you a boy away if someone wants to kill you you have to protect yourself you must use it gun make make bullet proof as well so you have to protect yourself you won't come out in the street without protecting yourself so what i'm saying in a sense use the brain and reason to what our leader has said we must go back to who we are and the government must come. We must do everything to get Biafra. And the man who, who fought for Haiti to win the white man the first time, first and the last time, was Igbo man. And he didn't do it only by his hands. It was something else. Remember, when our father go to hunt, we don't go to hunt the lion with, with only guns. We go with something else. Our father put the, the teeth of the lions out, but with the ordinary bare hands, with something. All right, we've got your points. Thank you very much for that wonderful submission. Of course, the efforts we are formidable. Of course, of course, we, we are formidable. The truth about it is that uh, we must keep moving on. Ahead, ahead. Biafra has risen never to fall again. And of course, uh, nobody has any right to kill Biafra again. And no matter what, in the name of whatever, in the name of Sharia, in the name of terrorist or whatever, we can only march towards our freedom and get our freedom. Yes, our people are formidable. We are formidable. And now we are working hard. Everything is being done. Everything is being done by every member, every family member to get Biafra restored. Yes, it doesn't mean that the enemies are sleeping. We need to be aware. All right, we have a call on the WhatsApp. The man in my where are you calling from? Hello, can you hear us? 
Hello. Hello, good morning. Tell good us your name and where you are coming from. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Okay, my, my name is uh, uh, Osbo Alifosu, so I'm calling from uh, Aripalu. All right, so welcome. Okay. Uh, please, uh, vape for Mars, vape and uh, Mars, bribe. I really appreciate what you do again for this hospital because I know that it's not easy. Uh, Thank you. For, uh, for my further uh, information, I want to say something about uh, Asari Dakubo for what, concerning what he said yesterday for social media. Asari Dakubo, I don't know that uh, his aim is to, to push him on the time to fight the war. But I really thank God that uh, Mars in the time is, is more wiser than here. That man, Asari Dakubo, is a kind of war. He's an Islamic man. His agenda is to kill all the Afars as they did in 1967 to 1970. After everything they seized our property, now he's pushing you to go to war. Yesterday he, he said a lot, a lot of things that uh, he is a uh, uh, Namdekan, that Namdekan does not know anything, that Namdekan is just making much. But I want to ask for uh, Asari Bokobo, Asari Bokobo, why are you a school dropout? If you claim that you are wise, is it not, is it not a Nigeria, is it not a Nigeria that will make you to, to, to drop out? Hello? Hello, I can hear you. Oh. Okay, is it not a Nigeria that will make you to drop out? After everything, him, him and the, and the, ask and the, was in the, he collected the money from Okada, Okada people, people that don't, don't have anything to do, they sacrifice themselves, people died, they collected the whole money, they went, they went to this in the Republic to, to, to invest there. Why can't, if Asad Dokubo is a, is a, is a reasonable man, why can't Asad Dokubo uh, build all of his building and uh, his investment to, to Biafra land, if he says something reasonable? And again, there's one thing that I want to tell them. Every time they say war, 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 war. Okay, after, after Nigeria people they see the uh, re, uh, this in Niger, uh, so called Niger Delta, who sees our property and who, who blackmail their friends, their brothers. Now, the, after the war ended in 1970, Nigeria government, Nigeria government wanted to give them 50% of, uh, of their resources. The group who stood up. Forget, Ujuku forgot what, what they did for us. Ujuku was the one that fought 40% before it reached them. But I really thank God that Asa Dokubo has come out of one day and he said that uh, he himself can never do something that any of the did. So I really thank God for that, for that thing. But it's only a foolish person that cannot understand what he said before. And it, again, for, the, for what is happening now, look at what happened in France two, 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 two months ago, about one, two months to one month ago now. The protests, even police, people that uh, were, people that uh, were protesting, they were Please, you don't have any time uh, to, uh, you know, uh, I don't have to uh, 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 wait on call. Please, can you okay. round up? Okay. Let, me, let, me, let me round up, let me round up. Okay, uh, listen, I thank, I thank you people there so that I can, I can cut off my call so that other people will, will go and uh, will go. Right, thank you very much and uh, so, yeah, uh, yeah. input is noted. Alright, you have a call on Skype. Hello, good morning. Uh, thank you very much. Good morning. This is Mars Yobi Friday. I'm calling from uh, Abakari to Province of Bethel. I'm calling from Mars Yobi Friday. Welcome to Sunrise yeah, BTV. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, Mars Yobi Friday and uh, Mars Yobi Friday. Uh, so good morning from here. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, of course, I'm very, I'm very much uh, excited uh, you know, this morning because uh, uh, there are a whole lot of things happening in Abakari which of course prove that uh, we are 100% ready good to go. Uh, having, you know, have our volunteers march gallantly in the street yesterday. All right, can you give us an update of what happened there, please? Uh, yes, yes uh, on the need to also sit at home uh, on the 16th of February uh, to break up the election. Uh, the, the march started uh, at uh, Spare and Go. 
they marched gallantly to uh, Janko Junction uh, along the uh, Africa Road. They also reached towards the uh, uh, meat market, uh, the daily market in Nabakali Town, where thousands of people gather for their you know, trades and business and many things. So the, the, the volunteers you know, they, they really spread the gospel and uh, the people were very much you know, happy that indeed they have seen an, a better option. And uh, on Sunday, uh, the intent, the women of the states, the uh, department of uh, IPOB, officially inaugurated the uh, uh, the the, the ministry of house, the department, and uh, uh, that's the uh, okay, you know, we are part of uh, that innovation as well. Uh, this morning, I boarded the bus, you know, to the field. Um, many people all the discuss in the bus with all Yapa saying that there is no need going out to vote again. And the message has appeared very well in the mix and cry of the uh, mistake. So many of them have already assured that even the store where I went to buy, you know, what they discuss there is uh, the issue of Yapa. Uh, saying that, of course, the message has gotten to the ear of you know, everybody who mutates and they are going to comply to proceed at home order. Even this morning where I am, uh, it is also the same thing. Uh, our brethren and the men and people in the streets, they are of course saying that they will comply to proceed at home on that 16th October 2019 as to both of the election and Facebook for the restoration of the second group of data. So this morning uh, the GOP uh, teach who thank you also gather the minds of the people in some other areas in other localities and uh, I so, I believe it's gonna be a wonderful one because uh one from so many people all right, yeah, now we can Can you please round off so that we can take other calls as well? Okay. Now, they are really assured uh, they are from the world that indeed they are going to break out the relation. So, in the back of the year, I always say that uh, we are going out to resolve it and uh, we are going to make sure that the new public form. So, we say thank you very much and we together our blessed speech and to one of you. I bless you too. Well, thank you very much, Mazega Friday. All right, you have a call on the phone. Hello, good morning. That's the number you are calling from. I'm calling from Port Gaiti. Nico, I'm a born man. The apparent of Google. Please tell us your name and where you are calling from. I'm part of the. Because all this is saying this is a trade off and this is a decision. You know, listen to that man. That man is evil. That man that has told that man to deceive us. That man that has told her to kill us. Please, my dear friends. That man, that man, that man is evil. I said, you are evil. I said, you are evil. You are evil, man. My God. See what you are saying. To deceive us. Give me a brother. Uh, don't know what, what I better hang. What do you have to say about it? That, that Nigeria will hang you. I'm sorry. Please, that my uncle contribution on this one. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much. Sir. That was a happy one. All right. We have a call on the WhatsApp. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Welcome to Sunrise Daily Review. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Good morning. My name is Chukwemeka. I'm calling from Germany. I'm from Mumbai, you take over in a way. One by saying in a way, program for me to say. Thank uh, you very much, my brothers. Uh, we got to do a good job. I want to contribute uh, to your program this morning. First, let me start with what I'm going to do. Let me start with Uche Namad. Okay. Uche, I read an article or something on a vendor yesterday when Uche Namad and Omar are telling our people to go and vote. I was so astonished, so surprised, because if Uche Namado was in our leader zone, with other, the so-called other, which in my opinion, fake Biafran uh, uh, group, to say they endorse our leader, they do not want division, whatever our leader says, and I am to ask Uche Namado, 
has no resources and uh, you should be afraid because it looks like if anybody help you will be weak before a boot. How can you tell your mother? Say all those things. You guys should play that game to his wife. Let him hear what he says in our middle form. Then let him, I mean, begin to see the stupidity in, in terms of what he's saying today. Another thing I want to say is uh, Asare Dokobo. Asare Dokobo came here to be in Nigeria. Technically, he came and, and he held a, a, I mean, a public a pastor. How then can Asare Dokobo, who rejected Nigeria because of the people he came for, he didn't even want to associate himself with Nigeria, not to bring in investment to be foreign guy not to talk of Nigeria. He ran and he ran and become a integral in because he is saying that the people are cowards. Who is then the most useless guy in that person? He is carrying the pipeline to the backyard for a man in Chikara, for a man in Pan. There he is planting money, maintaining Nigeria and telling his people to go and vote in Nigeria. How about Asari Doko? He had a very true role in Nigerian pastor. Why about to stand up for Nigerian national? If you reject Nigeria because it's too open, why are you pushing your people to go and participate in any activities being, you know, that are supported by those influenced Nigerian people? It is a shame. Asari Dokobo, you claim to be a Nigerian. This man is not known to job culture or language or, or tradition in any way. Asari Dokobo, his people should be afraid of him. That man is a son of war. Look at the mysterious region is that south of Niger Delta area. What has Asari Dokobo can tell me? Uh, I get uh, uh, intelligence. I take it all these animals. What have they done to their people? If not going in the pipeline for outside land to be paying them stipend and then begin to raise their children. They are there, they are that the white female who is speaking their land day by day. Is this an objective that we put? Look like Asari Dokobo is the most coward and stupid person I've ever seen. We dare you to learn from the mistake of King Salamina and Jacob Bono. Then why then Asari Dokobo is the most useless thing that ever happened to them? Can you add up quickly because I'm not coming off our way to online. We don't have much time. All right, you have a call on Facebook. Hello, good morning. What's your name and where are you calling from? Well, my name is Tukwa Benami, so um, I want to greet you with you. Uh, it's a very good morning uh, here where I am. Um, please, I want to make a very good uh, 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 point. I want to request on what the other uh, speaker said. Uh, please, do not tell us your name. Yes, my name is Chukwade Menoso. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, uh, I, don't, I don't know if you can hear me. I can hear you. I can hear you loud and clear. Please go ahead. All right. Thank you very much. So, you know, most of our people, anyway, I understand uh, the way they feel. Most of them, because most of us here, most of our people have died. Directly, I'm talking about our siblings have died in this struggle, and I understand the, 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 the pain in the heart of most of us here. Uh, but we will not uh, use it to model the work, as you know, because the IPD have command, they have, um, they have rules and how they laid down on how to go about in this very struggle. So that was it. So uh, we will not uh, 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 use our, our intentions to spoil whatever we've, uh, we've got online, we've, we've put in place. So people coming on to say we are going to go and fight uh, the government of Nigeria and um, you know use something to defend there and to do this and to do that. We are not saying that no one should defend his or herself. But coming in uh, uh, online to say such a thing, I don't think is um, uh, is a very good uh, idea. So what we are doing, uh, we need to be cautious because here our eyes are on all us. In, you understand that? Uh, yes, so we need yes. to be cautious. So the thing there is we are moving forward. What we are doing is penetrating. You know, I had a reader say something some time ago that somebody said to him, an important person for that matter, said to him, that what you are doing, that we are going to look into the matter, that they are going to look into the matter. He said that he least expected it from that same person. 
from that very country. So oh. it's, it's really that what we are doing is penetrating, that it is, it is hitting hard. Do you understand it? So, yes. so I forgot uh, uh, of course. So, we may begin to uh, do one. Yes. So, that is it. So, let's be patient and uh, focus on this very election. By doing this, by doing this, I am telling you that everything by the grace of Chukwoki Kabiyama will come to submission. I'm telling you the truth. So, let us focus on it. Let us boycott this very election. Let us boycott it. Because I can foresee, I am seeing something ahead. I am seeing something ahead. So, thank you very much. But please, God bless you all. I am pleading with all of our family members to be patient and obey the command that is being given. It shall be well with all of us. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much, our brother, for that wonderful contribution. Of course, it's a very nice idea and a very nice advice. Everyone has to be cautious of what you put out there on air. You don't tell your enemies what you have. Yes, talk. It's, it's even an act of sabotage because you look at it here. Uh, those of them who are making, uh, who are talking about war, 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 they just want to play the games of Nigeria because Nigerian government want to create a situation where they say IPB is violent and we are not. Alright, we have a call on WhatsApp. Good morning, and where are you calling from? Yeah, good morning, my brother Victor, and good morning, Mazuba to Iako. Good morning. My name is Ayikome Chuku. I am calling from Kenya, Nairobi, Brazil. Thank you. Well, I'm you to and what you call Kikabiyama is doing on this our struggle. And uh, this thanks to our leader, a man that uh, knows Nigeria better than any other person. A man that stood for what he believed. We thank him so much and we thank you for Kikabia. We Kikabia continue to bless him and keep him for, for, for us. He said, each one of my prayer. He said, now, let me say something. You know, I, I think some people don't know what they want. That is why somebody will come out and keep on shouting that we should go and vote, go and vote, go and vote, go and vote. In the first place, do we vote, go and vote? That is the question. Do we vote him in? And if you, you don't believe in Nigeria, you say that you are not a Nigerian. You are not a Nigerian. How can you, the same person that said that you are, you are not a Nigerian, now you want to go and, and vote? People should reason. People should reason. Well, before they come out to say something, they should reason what they are saying because many people are listening to us and many people in the, the world are watching. Of course, that is a different standard approach. Because we, we, we are fighting for freedom, we are not fighting for, uh, for anybody to be there. We, and besides, that is not our problem. Mm. The problem we are having, the system of that country is the problem. The struggle is the problem. There is no, even if, even if Jesus or Muhammad come to that country, we see so, with that constitution, with that, with that, with that uh, the way they structure that country. That is the problem. The problem is not the problem is not article. The problem is the system. And that is what we are trying to bring down. We must bring that system down. So that we freedom is one thing that we, we have in this life. If, if we don't have freedom, there's no need of being a human being. That is it. And we have come, we the IPOB, we have come to restore. We have come to restore that freedom. We are not going back. It doesn't matter what anybody is saying. If you feel like go, you vote, go and vote. We the IPOB, we say we are not voting. We are sitting at home. That day you sit at home. And after sitting at home, you see Nigeria, you see what is going to happen in that country. But you go to them a place all of you. And we yes. must continue. We are not going back. Unless you the nation must be back for we are not going back. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much, our wonderful brother, for that contribution. And uh, of course, the election must be boycotted, just like you mentioned. And uh, we are very, very formidable in what we are doing. So we are not leaving any stone unturned. So we are going to keep keeping on. All right, we have a call on WhatsApp. Good morning. And where are you coming from? We are good, we are good afternoon from Malaysia. All right, good afternoon. Where are you call, uh, Tell us your name. Yeah, my name is Edward Kewan, and I'm calling from Malaysia. Okay. Yeah, my brother, good morning. Good morning, my brother. And my brother, good morning in the studio. Thank you. Welcome, man. 
Alright, we have a call on WhatsApp. Good morning. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello, call on WhatsApp. Are you there? Hello, good morning, my brother. 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 Good morning, my how the crew is down in the after around the line, the man in the night, he says, the HG user, and I'm calling this money for capacity of the other, this is my hope. Alright, thank you. Thank you, brother, you should pray, and I have done one that for, and I must appreciate you for the two job well done. I want to do to wear my veil this morning to the after around the world, more especially the after in the after around. My brothers and sisters, my dear fathers and mothers, Wonderful people of nation Biafra. It is time for you to take your power back to your hands. It is time for you to listen to the words of God. It is time for you to listen to what our leader must be on the time of his soul. It is time for you to rebuke yourself. It is time for you to do just one thing. I remember, this happens to the days of our brothers Israelites when they were in Egypt. When the God told them that it's time for them to kill the land and, and spread the blood of the land, to make you the blood of the land to make a mark in their door, the time has come to get And what is that time? The same thing that is going to happen, that time is going to happen on Saturday in that time of Biafra, in that whole land of Biafra. Now the God is speaking from the, the, the land of the prophet and told Biafra to go and sit at home and have a rest while their freedom is given to them. And uh, we have we can now see three families, those who they are coming from it are right to fall, and we cannot help them because the kingdom must fall. They are no longer in the water Those, even those who are refused to keep the food to do, who they are not coming to go and eat, they are not coming out of prayer to go and eat that food. So when a man is refusing food to eat, that means that food is not to his himself. And now he's coming out to tell of his brothers, his young brothers who is from, to, that he loves, to go back to that food which he rejected to eat, to go and eat it. My brother and brother and sister, no matter where you are, the child you are coming from the other land, it is time for you, you to wake up and do the needful. And what is it for? From Saturday, this Saturday of the nation, my brothers and sisters, if you love your freedom, if you love your nation to come, adhere to the word of our leader Martin and the family, and especially agreeing by the ICAD. Keep in your heart and let your prayer be yours. As we do that, we speak to the address of all. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Jesus yes, Christ has the vision and never to fall to fall. And as what somebody can do about it, because it's one of Jesus Christ, I pray that the day has come for the people of India to do him. And no power and no force can stop it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Dear friends, we must stand up and stand up with our leader. Well, that day is the day that the world will know that the people of Biafra have to go seek the game. We have to All right, my brother, can we round up because other people are uh, waiting on call? All Biafra, all the Biafra. That's all we have this. Thank you very much for that one point of contribution. Hello, we have a call on the phone. Hello, call on the phone. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, good morning. Uh, good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. We can hear you. Please go ahead if you may. The Shukonega, I'm calling from Mbolechi. Yes. That is all. Yeah, I'm from Mbolechi. That is all, yeah. Hello, we can hear you, go ahead. I'm very happy about uh, what uh, our people have been doing. Hello, we have a call on WhatsApp. Hello, good morning. What is your name and where are you calling from? Can you hear me? We can hear you. What is your name and where are you calling from? I'm calling from Papa. Alright, what's your name? Hmm. 
Okay, if you if you wouldn't mind, you can speak up a little bit so that we can hear you. We are struggling to hear you. Scared to make it. My name is Scared to make it. All right, better now. Hey, yeah, me. Yeah, thank you and welcome to the show, to the program. Hey, hello. Hello, we can yeah. hear you. Please go ahead and make your contributions. So I've lost that one. All right, we have a call on the phone. Good morning. Hello, call on the phone. Are you there? Please, you can call back if you may. All right, we have a call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Good morning. I'm here. I'm hearing you very clear. I'm, I'm, Oh, yeah. Yeah, welcome to the program. Tell us your name and where you are calling from. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to the program. Okay. Uh, my name is uh, Nicola Pitai to and I'm calling from. Alright, we have a call on the phone. Hello. Hello, good morning. Hello, Hello. Hello. where are you calling from? Yeah, good morning, good morning. This is Chukwemeka from uh, Mbuichi, from Ajizo. All right, go ahead, please. Okay, um, I... Uh, Muglo, to be honest with you, God is really helping us, Chukwoki Kabiyama. I am talking mostly on uh, the bicycle of the election. I think uh, it's something necessary every Igbo man across the world, wherever you are, is supposed to rise up to support. I'm advising every Igbo man stand down on the day of the election. We don't want anybody to come out to vote. We don't want anybody to come out for anything, not even come out, because this country, Nigeria, have by the fact they have shown us a lot of evil things. So I don't see any reason why any youth of Biafra land should come out to vote. So it's a, it's a very clear talking to us. So everybody who happens to be an Igbo man should stay at home. So I don't think it's something that you have never seen all your life. So I am very happy towards this movement. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much. In case you are just joining us, this is uh, okay. BTV Daily Sunrise. Are you sure? Uh, no, you All right, go ahead. Oh, we lost that one. All right, in case you are just joining us, this is Sunrise Daily Municipal Review. And my name is Bazi Victor Oedo, and I have Mazi Bride with me. We are going to take a few more calls before we call it a shot. Hello, caller on the phone. Good morning. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, caller on the phone. Are you there? Seems to have lost that one. Uh, All right, do you have a call on the phone? Good morning. What's your name? Uh, where are you calling from? Please, can you speak up a little bit? We are struggling to hear you. We can't hear you at all. And uh, all the principal officers who are working as people please to restore the kingdom of God on earth. My name is Chine Merem I hear from Abadje, Abadje in Wangale, looking from the Timo State in all the places. I'm calling from Mobosi. My brother, that's why you see all right in. Of course. Uh, uh, did you know that this bicycle and relations is giving them a sleepless night? They are dying. But did you know that now they are going uh, indoor, into indoor, indoor campaign? <laughs> articulation of the injury that it will be is a vice president a egos 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 people should get the right in a uh, uh, after all i begin to ask them as this jonathan is here what jonathan does for the african people uh, 
That one is not evil then. Yeah. Ibo is the language in Biafra land. We are not being Ibo, Ibo, Ibo. We are not being Ibo then. We are doing Biafra. Ibo is the language in Biafra land. I'm not talking about an individual or a particular group of people. No, we are talking about Biafra. Nobody will stop their front restoration of Mazi, Oriato, and the Victor on it. We are here last uh, Monday. We just uh, Victor met up when he was campaigning. He was campaigning. Mazi, you know, they are buying two, two cups of rice, so even people. But we lay also on that price. Mazi, you know what happened? When they bring that rice, we begin to shout, anybody who eats this rice will die. People rejected that rice. They carry it, put it into their bone and carry it, the rice go away. But I want to tell them, all these politicians in the in Biafra land are fucking rubbish. The Biafra land must reject all of you and Biafra must come. Man, we are here. Nobody should go and vote. All right. Mechuko Kadoma, bless you people. We are here. We are not going to run in our father's land. I'm blessed you too. Thank you very much for that wonderful contribution. All right, one, one more lucky corner there before we call the put we, we call this a shot. I will have a call on the WhatsApp. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, I can hear you. Good morning. Tell us your name and where you are coming from. Hello. Hello, good morning. We can hear you. Tell us your name and where you are coming from. Okay, my name is Sabin Chiku. I'm coming from Nkwacha. All right, please go ahead and make your contribution. Okay. Um, all the Biafra. I want to be thankful to everybody on the Tuesday so that we can all see that Biafra is already here. Um, I'm thanking all of you that have been here in the media and to propagate the gospel of Biafra. And I want to thank our leader and all those I've got all the Jaffers, I've got all those that have been signed with Jaffers, I will ask that they should remain strong. Those of us in Jaffers land, I want to encourage you to take your body, that uh, is not it. We have seen the progress, we see that the Lord is already helping us, he has given us that, and he has come to help us, he has given us assurance. So we should do everything with confidence and remain strong and firm. Now, um, yesterday, uh, I want to also encourage us to go as directed uh, in terms of uh, trying to prepare or passive food and uh, or passive leaf to eat. Not necessary, if, if you have to say not necessary of passive food, but let it be a passive. Anything you can eat with it, but that is food, food, food to have a spiritual aspect of it. Spiritual inclination, whereas I can also use it in the, in the Bible, in the, in the book of Exodus, and enjoy to eat and prepare food with the uh, data that Avatazi is one of these data, so he has a spiritual inclination. Yeah, so it's, it's, you can see all these things are not just like things that is divinely arranged. So, uh, I, as it were, I was at the Lita, they want to see the video online. As well. All right, all right, can you use the round, the round of 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 the round so I want to encourage everybody, if you are not in your village, please call those in your village, if you are not residing to wherever you are, as, as directed, I will say, if you do not make any call, call those you know, call your cousins, call your relations, call your in-laws, tell them to, tell them to, tell them to buy call this position, I let you this system, so everything will go to be found as you already see. Thank you and the God bless you, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. You see? All right, thank you very much, and that will be our last call for today. All right, we have one more, one lucky corner there. Hello, what's your name? And where are you coming from? 
Hello, can I understand? Are you there? I hope you are not listening to your device. Please tune down the your listening device. Hello, call on WhatsApp. Good morning. What is your name? Uh, 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 good morning. Good morning, brother. How are you from? That's how we heard the. Of yeah, course, you are our last caller for today. Morning. Please tell us your name and where you are calling from. Hello, are you there? Hello, hello. I'm hearing you. All right, please go ahead. Maze, maze, of Naka Chuku Aoka. Go ahead. My name is Mose of Nagachukonka. I'm calling from China. I'm from Solo. Okay. Please go ahead and make your contribution. We seem to have lost that call. Alright, we have a call on the phone. Hello, good morning. Alright, that is why we call it a shot for today. Alright, before we go, um, there is a report we are getting. The Z military is going house to house in a way they are adopting our people, husband and wife, taking to a non location, leaving their children crying. Hmm, <laughs> see, that's yes, the, the, the evil we are talking about, going from house to house. You know, these are the developments. Yeah, uh, that's why I said we need to be watchful this time around. And of course, uh, our people need to stand up to it. Because it's wrong for them, we to allow them to take our families away. We skim them away to unknown destinations. So that is actually the time when our leaders said, when you see them in your communities, bury them alive. So we need to watch our families. We don't need to allow them to take away our children, take away our mothers, our fathers. No, we don't need to allow that. Of course, our leader has said it. He said, if you see them in your communities, bury them alive. That's what our leader said. And of course, uh, to be precise, the people that were arrested, uh, we are in Oji, Unit 1, yes, in a little province of uh, Bethlehem land. So, it it's is very, very important. And of course, our people need to stand up. Watch our fa homes this time around. It's not a time to, of course, leave your homes and not our big. We need to watch our homes because we know what they are up to. All right, thank you very much, Mazibar. So, what will be your final words of advice before we? Of course, uh, the, the, the days uh, as the they are increasing in their evil. That is how our day of freedom is also coming closer. Because you know it, you know when darkness becomes stronger, it only takes late or right to enter the whole darkness. And that is why Saturday is the day for sit at home. Three things will actually happen that day. It is going to be the Afra referendum, and of course, it's going to be election boycott. Then a sit at home. Yes, that day we're going to. Eat Okazi, and when we have eaten and satisfied, Chuko Kikadam will actually visit our homes. And uh, you know, when we eat and satisfied, we glorify the name of Chuko Kikadam. And that's actually what's going to happen. And I, ke I keep telling our people get all your ingredients ready because you need to welcome Chuko Kikadam into your homes on Saturday. Wow, that's a very mouth watering one. In my hands, my mouth is already watering. Based on the, can you name some of the vital ingredients? And that yes, yes, yes. We, 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 we don't joke with our uh, child. Uh, Okazi Achara, you know, you put them the yeah. together. Well, yeah, that's so the end it. It. Wow. and that is it. Natural ingredients. I can't, wait, so I can't wait to have my own uh, uh, share of uh, the Ophabia. Of course, you'd have it. <laughs> you'd have it. But that is, I'm not saying that you also have a full you know, because if you are putting them in the heart, I don't know if you are discriminating mm. here. No, no, we are one family. Oh, we too eat Okazi, but they prepare it differently. Okay. Yes, all parts of the Afra land. Some of them use it for Gongo. Wow. You know, some of them use it for different things. So you use Okazi where it's always appearing in all our foods. And of course, uh, it's a, it has a strong effect on, on our And also, it's a spiritual significant. Just yes. like uh, one of our callers mentioned that, uh, you know, in the children of Israel, they have to eat their lamb and they go to the slaughter with a bitter tongue. You <laughs> understand? So, <laughs> that means, you know, that's what I did. Yeah, yeah, like yes. The real thing is that we are going to have the Afra in order to, for us to be free to worship Chuku Kikadam. That is actually the moment we are talking about. Now, when we have eaten and we are satisfied, we need to be refer to Kokadiam. So that is how we launch ourselves into our freedom. So Chuko Okadiam is visiting our homes. All we are doing is to prepare for the great visitation because on Saturday is going to be great. You see him step into our homes, and that is the spirit of freedom. 
All right, dear friends and great lovers of faith, you have had it. Relax in your home. Prepare your Ufo Kazi in whatever way you can. We have Ufo, we have Ufabia, we have even Afan Sip and the rest of them. Any way you can, please do. Enjoy with your family, relax. And after enjoying, then you pray to Kukabiyama because that is how he's going to launch us into the land of freedom. My name still remains Mazi Victor Oyebo. And uh, with uh, Mazi Bright, we are signing out. Thank Bye you so for much. now. Bye-bye. Thank you.